Hello and welcome to my first tutorial in the FL Studio sequence. This tutorial will be about getting the basic handle on the FL Studio interface. First of all, let's learn where things are. Okay, so here's the toolbar. Here we can access things like File New, File Open, same as any other program where we can open files, save files. We can also save new versions of a file if we have made minor changes to it and we want to save two different copies or we can even export and import we can import MIDI files or export WAV files, MP3 files etc. These are just recent projects which come up and other than that there's not a lot to the file tab. In the edit tab we can use to cut and copy but there's quicker ways of getting around doing cut and copy. Also here's the channel section which I'll be talking about in a later tutorial as this will be helping us with the step sequencer. The view just tells us what we want to see on the screen at the same time. And the options tab helps us select things such as general settings, audio settings. If we click on general settings we can we can do things like change the skin. So say if we want smaller steps in the step sequencer, we click smaller steps and voila the step sequencer has smaller steps. But personally I prefer just the default one because that's just what I'm used to you might prefer something else. Also up here we have a time signature which this is what is shown when the track is playing so you know how far through the track you are. You can change this between steps per beat, steps or beats and you can also change it between bars and minutes depending on your personal preference of timekeeping. We also have play and a stop button these are used to obviously play and stop the track, but these two buttons here, pattern and song, they they differentiate between the the step sequencer and the playlist, and this is what helps us play separate parts of the program. Also, we have here just a monitor which shows us sound files as we're well, the sound waveform as we're listening to the sound. And we also have the CPU load chart to tell us how much CPU usage FL is using of our computer. And also we have our memory usage. This isn't really important to actually produce some music, but it is nice to know small little things. Also we have here the playlist, the step sequencer, the piano roll, the browser plugin picker, and the, the mixer. Well, I'll go in depth more about these and later tutorials but first now I'll just show you what they are so you know what I'm talking about in the next couple of tutorials. Well here is a playlist, here is the step sequencer here, this is the piano roll, this thing on the left here this is the uh, the file explorer or what FL calls the browser or the plugin picker and this is the mixer which will be useful for adding effects to your your tracks on the step sequencer. Also one thing is if you notice in the top left we have an information window here and every time we hover over something it tells us something about that item we're hovering over. It's, it's a really useful tool when coming to producer. If you're ever stuck on time signatures you want an exact percentage but you don't know where to look to find it it's in it's in the little window up here always so it's it's really useful to know that but that's all for now and I'll talk to you more about the other components of FL Studio in later tutorials thanks for watching